What up, YouTube? It's your boy, YG Craig. You already know. Welcome to episode three of Foodie Fridays. Woo! Woo! Today, we are at the Manville Food Truck Festival in Manville, New Jersey. Check out some of their food. Okay, now, if you watch episode number one, uh, a lot of these trucks that were in episode one are here again. So I will not be reviewing those. We're gonna try new ones today and review those, all right? If you haven't checked out episode one, make sure you do that right now. Well, after you finish watching this video, you go check that out. And um, yeah, let us know what you think. As always, watch you Craig and Mel. Foodie Fridays is going down. All right, so our first stop is the Cab Burger food truck right here. The Cab Burger, we got their original sliders. Let me show you, let me show you out these sliders. Look at that. Onions, pickles, slider burger, Hawaiian roll. Oh, look at that. Let's look at that. All right, try it. Let us know what you think. Look at that. It looks good, don't it? Oh, it's very good. Got it right here. Look at that. Cat burger. Eight out of ten. Agreed. The Hawaiian roll put it over the top. But at the end of the day. Still just a slider. A good slider. Still just a slider. 8 out of 10. So next up we got chicken and waffles from Dan's allegedly famous chicken and waffles. I uh, wasn't sure which kind of get so we got their staple Dan's famous chicken and waffles with the sorry there's a B with the maple <laughs> With the maple bacon sauce. Looks good. Looks Give good. it a try. Alright. I had to have some of my plucky sour first. The moment of truth. I have to agree with that. Solid. Yeah, it's good. Solid. It's good. It's good, but it's not like a. It's not like your traditional chicken and waffle. Yeah. It, it's good. Honestly, I feel like it could be better. Yeah. To be honest, but we're right by a truck, so I'm not gonna say too loud. Seven point five. Solid seven point five. Yeah. So next up, we went over to Sandwich Free. Over there, but I didn't get me a sandwich. I actually got me a lemonade from Sandwich Free. Uh, customer service was on point. The lady recommended the peach lemonade. Wait, wasn't on the menu. Yeah. Okay. So. Secret flavor. There's a secret flavor white peach lemonade from Sandwich Free. Eight and a half out of ten. That was good. I told her if I didn't like it, I was gonna go back, but I do like it. Eight and a half out of ten. It is good. I say eight, only because it's very sweet, and I like bitter things now in my older age. Yeah. Even though I'm still younger than you. But yeah, but it's good. Eight and a half. I said sandwich free. White peach lemonade. All right, guys. So next up we have. What was that? He said he said to tag him. 
So next up is the Philly cheesesteak egg roll from Uncle Sal's egg rolls. Look at this. Oh yeah. Here we go. So this is their number one bestseller, and I see why. Nine out of ten. To quote Keith Lee, "For sure, right on. For sure, right on." Nine out of ten. Okay, so now we're at. Which is hot sauce. And we're gonna sample some hot sauces. The first one is strawberry pineapple. Let me just show you what they got here really quick. I may try the Hell's Fury just for the sake of the video, but I don't know yet. Alright. So strawberry pineapple. Oh, it's good. That one is actually pretty good. It is very good. Mm -hmm. It has a little kick at that one. Yep. Yeah, right, right amount of sweet. Oh, that's tasty. Right, that, that, that's Spanish pineapple. The strawberry pineapple. Spanish pineapple. <laughs> <laughs> strawberry pineapple. It's very good. That's good. Okay, for the sake of the video, I'm going to try the two hottest ones. Oh. That they got. Oh, my God. So this one's going to be Okay. The young lady at the counter just gave me a look like, oh boy. <laughs> this one is the Reaper's Revenge. Yep. <sighs> Reaper's Revenge. This is what I do for you guys, okay? Like hot sauce, give butchers a try. Uh, but I'm I'm full now. I, I was thinking about getting some uh, garlic farm fries for wings and things, but I didn't try them yet. But that might have to be for another time because 
it would be fortunate and that would be a very honest and unbiased review. So, um, overall, the Mandrill Food Truck Festival, 8 out of 10. What do you think? Yeah, we go, we go to a lot of them. I think it was the weather that also put a little damper on it. But the one that we went to the other week had more food trucks on it. But I would say a solid 8 out of 10. From episode one. If you didn't check it out, check it out. Um, yeah, there'll be more during the summer. Make sure you're, you like the video and subscribe so that you don't miss an episode of Foodie Friday. And if you know of a place that needs to be on Foodie Friday, make sure you comment and let us know where we should try next. Because we like good food.